Hey, I'm Sheila. Welcome back to my suburban garden. So today, we're in the compost pile. And we're gonna talk compost. So I'm turning my compost today, which I, I don't do as frequently as I should. But, um, and I, I, I'm a lazy composter. I water it when I, it's with a dry spell and it doesn't rain for a few days. And, um, but I'm sitting out here. It does not smell. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't have a bunch of bugs. Um, but um, I'm gonna give you a little guidance on what you can put and can't put in your compost. Um, so, like I said, I'm a lazy composter. I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing the hot composting thing. I mean, yeah, I could make compost faster if I did, but I'm, I'm just not gonna deal with that. Um, cat and dog poop. Don't put that in your compost. Um, the carnivores and uh, yeah, just don't put cat and dog poop. Um, garden waste is fine. I put garden waste all the time, but I don't put uh, anything that's disease or could carry diseases because it'll transfer to compost and then that'll transfer to your um, to your garden when you use compost in your garden. Um, I put eggs in eggshells, but I don't put oil or meat or bones. For one thing, bones are too dense. And, um, and meat, they will break down into compost. Everything organic breaks down. Meat, um, tends to attract critters and um, it smells. So I throw meat away. I don't put it in the compost. But now I will put grass clippings in and paper like this in here. Um, I don't put wax paper for the same way reason I don't put oil. It, it's it prevents the moisture from getting into the compost. Um, if you put weed killer on your lawn, don't put your grass clippings in your compost pile because it will kill your veggie plants. But I don't use weed killer, so I'm okay to put my grass clippings um, in my compost. I do about half and a half brown and green. Brown is paper, leaves. Um, green is your ve fresh uh, veggie waste, your garden waste, your um, grass clippings. Um, so yeah, um, I do about a half and a half. I don't measure it. If I see I'm getting a bunch of uh, green um, waste in here, more green than brown. I have all my uh, husband's old whole foods bags and um, I'll tear those up and throw them in here. And uh, they break down just fine. Um, so, yeah, that's all there is to it. Composting can be hard. Or it can be easy, and I go the laser route. I go easy, as you can see. It's all this at the bottom that is composted. It's nice and dark, you know, and brown. So, um, a dark brown, and um, so yeah, it's it's looks great. I mean, as I'm digging deeper, I, I'm getting to the more refined uh, air, um, layer of the compost and um, it looks fine. It looks great. And uh, I mean there's some that some stuff that's not uh, completely degraded. 
but um, so in a you know few months I guess I'll a month or two months I don't know it just depends how hot it is I'll flip it back over and then let it start degrading back on that side but this looks great and um, so yeah you can definitely compost if you're lazy or disabled you can still compost um, things break down they break down whether you do anything to it or not it breaks down faster if you do stuff but I don't so as you see I'm sitting again just because it's easier for me but yeah so if you have any questions leave them in the comments below if you haven't already subscribe and watch me garden and learn green and learn how to not make the mistakes I made in the past but I've been Sheila and this has been my suburban garden and thank you for visiting.